What is going on family? I'm really excited to release this video. I got a really great response on my informative leg day. So I decided to do an upper body workout. So I hope you guys enjoyed this edit. Hope you guys are able to take something from it and enjoy the video. Hello everyone, I'm back with another voiceover of my upper body workout in my eight week lean bulking program. The current workout split for the first phase is push, pull, legs, upper, and legs. When optimizing muscle hypertrophy, it was found in 2015 Schoenfeld et al. that higher frequency, in our case two times per week frequency versus the traditional single week workout frequency to be more successful. There would be options of programming full body workouts, as well as continuous upper lower split options resulting in three times frequency per week. But in 2005, Birdie Tal found that frequency above two times per week wouldn't allow for adequate recovery between resistance training bouts. In my experience, I found this method to be more optimal. Mentally, it was more satisfying having a varied workout schedule versus completing the same tedious workout repeatedly. Whereas my lean bulking program does have frequency at two times per week, it does have five different workout days. It is important to enjoy the workout, whereas adequate adherence is also following workout effort protocols, specifically the RPE scale or rate of perceived exertion. More enjoyable workouts lead to better adherence in my experience. We started off with the incline dumbbell press. To achieve a well-developed chest, it is important to target the upper chest. Prioritizing weak point training following the specificity principle will help build more balanced physique. Focusing on the clavicular head of the pectoralis major, or upper chest, it was found in 2000 by Busky et al. that a 45 degree incline on the bench had the highest EMG activation. Although the clavicular head is targeted here, the sternal costal and abdominal head of the pectoralis is activated as well for overall chest activation. When performing this movement, you want to focus on the transverse adduction of the shoulder joint. Mental cues would be thinking about moving your elbow away from the body to closer to the midline of your body in the transverse plane. If you tuck your elbows in too close, you fall into the trap of more elbow extension focusing on the triceps or shoulder flexion in the sagittal plane with a more focus of the activation of the anterior deltoid. The second exercise is the lat pull down. This exercise mainly targets the latissimus dorsi, which is the largest back muscle, and the teres minor, aesthetically focusing on the V-taper and overall back development. To perform this exercise, you want to use a pronated grip or palms facing away from you. In 2014, Anderson et al. found the highest back activation with a grip 1-2 biochromial lengths, or a grip as wide as 1-2 times shoulder width length. Using a grip in between 1 to 2 times shoulder width and what is more comfortable for you is what I personally suggest. Next we want to slightly lean back approximately 15 degrees and pull towards your upper chest. Since the back is the largest group in the upper body, we will perform another back movement for increased volume. The next exercise is the seated cable row. During the lat pull down we perform shoulder adduction in the frontal plane. During the seated close grip cable row, we are switching up the movement performing shoulder extension in the sagittal plane. We want to depress the shoulder blades and focus on keeping the elbow low to the ground. Chris Bearcat found this technique to create a higher EMG lat activation. His YouTube video explaining this will be in the link in the description. Next, we move on to the seated military press machine to target the shoulders. If you're looking for highest overall shoulder activation, in 2013, Seder Balkan found standing versus seated and dumbbells versus barbells was more effective. I have chosen to use machines for this compound movement after a few exercises into the workout. I find there's a higher risk of injury when fatigued, so using a machine using a fixed path requires less stability and could lead to less chance of injury. Next we perform the dumbbell side lateral raise. This movement only involves a single joint which isolates the deltoid. In 2000, Buskies et al. found the highest activation in side delt with this movement. For highest activation, you want to sustain elbow extension where flexion in the elbow can reduce activation up to 50% or in other words avoid bending at the elbow. To further increase side deltoid activation, perform shoulder adduction with slight internal rotation of the arms almost like you were to pour out a drink. We finished arms off with the cable tricep press down and hammer curls. The main focus of this tricep is elbow extension. It is made up of three muscles, the long head, which originates in the scapula, and the medial and lateral heads, which originate on the humerus. 
Since the shoulder is in the extended position, the main focus is on the lateral and medial heads. Buskies et al. also found this exercise to be at the highest activation for these two heads. Since the long head crosses the shoulder joint, shoulder flexion or raising your arms overhead while performing shoulder extension will increase activation in the long head. It was also found that the hammer grip increased activations of the overall biceps break eye versus the standard rotating supinating grip or pronated grip. This concluded our workout. It was a fun one to record with all of the local Kelowna Fit Fam that were able to make it. Thank you to CJ for recording this workout and I hope it was helpful. And if you're able to take something from this, please like the video as it does help out a lot. Subscribe if you haven't already and I'll talk to you guys soon in the next one. Alright guys, like I mentioned earlier, I did have a blast creating this one. Um, it is a new style of videos that I'm getting into and it's really enjoyable for me to make. So if you guys really like the informative style videos, please let me know in the comment section below. And please subscribe if you haven't already because I'm looking forward to putting, or putting out more content like this. So I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you guys for watching.